Hello my friends, thank you so much for joining me today. Welcome to anyone who's new to my channel. Thank you so much for choosing this video and I hope you enjoy this little doodle. And welcome to anybody who regularly attends or watches my video. Thank you so much. Um, if you haven't subscribed, I'd really appreciate it if you did. Um, it helps to build the channel. So this little doodle I did on a book and this book is a very old book and I was going to use it just as a place where I try out new designs and it ended up being a piece <laughs> and I think that that's quite I don't know interesting I think what I really loved about this book is the paper the paper is very poor quality um, and it, it was it was a, it was a very cheap um, sort of art sketchbook but and I've had it for a number of years but I love the yellowy creamy effect of the pages it just gave the piece that vintage look um, and it's natural it's not sort of anything that I have um, done to the actual paper or pages and it's it's quite thin paper um, so if I use like sort of heavy ink it does it does sort of bleed through but it doesn't matter I mean you can't see it from the actual picture itself and I just really loved the the look of the piece it has this very vintage like um, feel about it and um, you know I, I really love the paper and it was quite fun um, you know using it even though it's a, a very cheap book and it wasn't meant to be anything special I, I wasn't even really meant to upload it but these days anytime I draw something I always record it just in case it turns out to be something you know that I can upload so anyway I started this particular piece and I was in a good mood I was in a good mood for a number of reasons um, first reason is um, health wise um, you know I've, I've noticed that I've you know lost a little bit of weight you know I've put on a little bit of weight and I wanted to lose some weight and I've been doing some swimming and I've lost lots of weight and I'm so pleased with um, the fact that you know that well it's not just the swimming it's it's dieting as well well I'm not dieting but just eating healthily and trying to avoid um, processed food um, which is not very good for our, our, our bodies so you know doing that avoiding processed food that doesn't mean that I haven't eaten any processed food at all it's just I just try to minimize it to maybe just eating it I don't know once a week twice a week um, you know and and you know just once a while as opposed to every single day or m multiple times a day so I was in a good mood because it's really nice you know to 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 sort of become more healthy you know I've noticed when I go for a walk and I'm just walking to the shops that I don't feel it you know I don't feel heavy and it's such a good thing to to you know to um to, to sort of become more healthy it's very good for your emotional well-being and it's also very good for your physical health it's not good to be um you know unhealthy so I, I was in a good mood for that and I was also in a good mood because I um i had some good news for um you know some some things that have been going on in my in my life I don't want to say it's good news but um you know changes and and things that are moving movement and um you know things are, might look like as if they're looking up um in in terms of the trials that I'm going through in in, in my life and I felt just in a very very good mood and I think that I, I, I think if there's anything that I would say is that if you're in any kind of trial or any kind of adversity or anything and you're I would always say if you can if, if it doesn't harm you or hurt you to stick with it you know stick with whatever it is that life is throwing at you whatever challenge it is if if it doesn't harm you you know we don't want to harm you <laughs> but but you know obviously if you if, you know get advice if you if you need advice always get advice actually you should never sort of stick with something without getting advice but what i would say is that things are there to test you you know life is tough and you know it, it's there to test us it's there to you know to um see what we can do you know you have to see yourself as a as a warrior somebody who's who's fighting that's what i do anyway 
I see myself as a warrior. I see myself as somebody who's not afraid of fighting, not afraid to fight. And I don't care who I'm fighting. If I have to fight somebody who's powerful than, than me, if I lose, at least I go down fighting. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to just go down and just give in. I want to go down fighting, you know, so that's how I see it, you know, that I see myself as a warrior and I see myself as somebody who doesn't give up, who will continue fighting until the bitter end, especially if I feel that my cause is just. And so I feel like at the moment I'm sort of in this this kind of war and I, I, I haven't won anything at all. You know, it's, life is like that. You very rarely win wars, especially against powerful people. But, um, you know, there is a tiny little grain that perhaps I might have, have got gained. And, and I'm just grateful for those those tiny little grains that, that I, I gain, those tiny little things that I can celebrate. I'm, I'm just grateful to have them, to have moments where... I can celebrate something small, a tiny little victory, you know, and that's all it is. And, you know, I'm, I'm in a good mood for it. <laughs> and I think that, you know, whenever you have something that you want to celebrate, celebrate it, be in a good mood. You know, life doesn't give us many things to be smile about. Life gives us a lot of challenges. But when, when life gives us something wonderful, we should um, celebrate those wonderful things or, or small a tiny little small thing we should celebrate it and we should be happy and so anyway I was just in a good mood <laughs> and I just thought I'd just doodle and I didn't want to doodle anything in particular I, I just wanted to draw some shapes and use this paper see what happens I drew some other shapes on the, on the other pages and I was looking at them and you know using them again in this piece and seeing what happens when you put this and that together <laughs> you know and just sort of putting different pieces together and seeing how they look and you know trying things out and enjoying it but nothing complicated nothing difficult everything is so simple straightforward you know nothing that requires any thinking just something that is just easy to do and I think I might do another version of this and upload it when I get around to doing that other version because it's nice to do something that's just easy that doesn't require any thought that doesn't you know doesn't look have to look like anything just something that is just an easy doodle you know what I mean it's nice to do one it's sort sort of really relaxing and enjoyable and I suggest that you know you don't have to upload your doodles but you can just do something that's so nice so easy and so enjoyable and it doesn't have to you know there's no pressure no pressure to make anything look great I think that's the thing about when you have a YouTube channel you're under pressure to make things look good all the time because you want people to click on your channel but my um, YouTube art um, channel is a, is about a journey so some of my things are not going to look good some of them are going to look um, all right and some of them are going to look really nice you know because it is a journey and because you know, when you go in on a journey, you're going to make mistakes, you're going to fall down, you're going to learn things. And so therefore, when you're learning something, you, the best way to learn is to make mistakes. Do you know what I mean? That That's the best way to learn. Your brain, your brain is wired up to learn from mistakes more than it is to learn from something that we, we get right. So I'm so... That's why I l upload stuff on, on YouTube and I know that, oh, you know, it's not that brilliant, but, you know, <laughs> I'm not really, it's not really, it's a hobby and that's all it is. It's just something that I enjoy doing and, um, and that's that. I hope you're enjoying watching me doing my little doodle here though, because it is just a nice little doodle. It's nice and simple, nothing complicated, nothing hard. And it's just nice. It's really, really nice to sort of <laughs> to add little quirky, whimsical um, bits and pieces to to the piece. I I really enjoyed doing this 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 piece. So, um, in terms of my life, I am sort of in some trials of my own. Um, and and you know, the past twelve months, I would say, the past eighteen months has been quite challenging for me. Um, but during those times and during those challenging times, I've, I've achieved some things. 
I've, um, you know, I've, I've set up my YouTube channel. I've got some certification in, in, in qualification. I've, you know, motivated myself. I've created things. And, you know, whenever you're, well, at least whenever I'm in any kind of adversity, I try to force myself to be productive, to use that energy in, in a productive way. And I feel that, you know, this, this channel that I've done has really sort of made me be productive when perhaps I might have been not so productive, do you know? So I, I suggest, I, oh, I don't know, that's what it's, it's been for me, that whenever you're having some kind of adversity, it's always good to use that energy not, rather than to just um, allow the energy to consume you but to use that energy for something that's productive, not something that's destructive, but something that is productive. Um, go for walks, do some exercise, go and help people. Um, you know, when you're in a, or at least this is how it works for me. If, if I'm ever in a negative mood, um, I try to be constructive. I'll go to the gym, I'll go for a swim, I'll meet up with um, some, some friends, I'll do something that will help to get me out of that, um, you know, that negative mindset, if I am in a negative mindset. And art is one of those things that it can get me out of a, a negative mindset, but it can also put me in a positive and constructive um, mindset as well. So, you know, it's just something that, that I do. It's actually just a hobby, to be honest with you. <laughs> it's not anything sort of serious. I'm not I'm not a serious artist, although I am going to start doing some painting and, and I might start um, putting some pieces together for that. But, um, you know, this this piece that I'm doing was just a reflection of the joy that I had in my in my heart and the happiness that I was feeling because I feel that I have overcome a challenge, uh, a challenge of some great, you know, something that was great, I've overcome it. And I still on my way, I still have a long way to go. I still have a lot of things to do, but there is a, a definite satisfaction in, in, in the knowledge that some, some trial or some adversity that, that I've been through I've, I've only just taken one step towards overcoming that adversity. It's not over by any stretch of the imagination, but it is a step and you have to celebrate these tiny little, um, you know, tiny little steps, baby steps that you make towards um, reaching a goal and, and achieving something in spite of, um, you know, the negative people or the people who are consumed with, with hatred. And that's really sad that, that people are consumed with hatred and people are so, um, you know, so so sad like that. But, but you know, that's how the world is. There, there are people in the world who, you know, are consumed with hatred and there's nothing you can really do about them. You just have to try to avoid them as much as you possibly can. And that's not always possible. You know, it's not always possible to um, avoid people who, you know, are, um, you know, whatever negative but anyway this piece is a reflection of the happiness that I was feeling um, because I was able to overcome a small little well an obstacle a big obstacle and just sort of move it a fraction you know what I mean not not doing anything particularly um, great but as I say you have to you have to celebrate these small, small victories. And this was it. And, and I'm just so happy. And I think it kind of reflects the happiness that and the boon that was in my, my heart. So I hope that you have enjoyed this doodle of mine. I hope that you've enjoyed me <laughs> chatting away and talking. I was only meant to talk for about five minutes. And I ended up talking for the, the full, almost the full 15 minutes. But I hope you enjoyed my little chat. I hope you will consider subscribing to my video and, oh sorry, subscribing to my channel and I hope you like this little doodle because I kind of like it. You know, I think it came out of nowhere and I'm really pleased with it. So if you did like it, give it a like and I hope to see you again next time. 
Have a lovely evening. Have a lovely afternoon. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.